Hey, it's Mastery Monday, this is Sean Kelly, co-creating dreams and breakthroughs, crushing fear and distortion, and we're still down LBI. Quick check-in, right? One of the things that I want you to ask yourself in service of this video is, where do you get away to to create some of the most meaningful work that you do? So going away and being in seminar and workshops is an incredible thing to do, and I've been doing that my entire life. And a lot of times I'll be down in Long Beach Island, people are like, oh, it must be fun, must be nice, and by the way, it is fun, and it is nice, but I probably, it's about one o'clock right now. Matt, is that right? Uh, yep, one o'clock. About one o'clock. And I've probably gotten in about seven hours of work already. I've written 20 pages uh, for my upcoming book. And I've also been on about 11 phone calls. And they've been incredibly powerful, meaningful. And the creative energy that can come for us when you get away to a different place to work and just get in a really creative space is really remarkable. And Matt, when you got here, you like walked up here and you're like, what did you say? Because Matt's yeah, relatively understated. Matt, by the way, welcome aboard to the team, is our new full-time videographer and video editor, doing an amazing job. As you see some new distinctions and things that were put up out there. But what did you say when you kind of came up here? We got the Atlantic Ocean here, which by the way is Caribbean-esque today. It was uh, see your feet and see for a very far way uh, being in the water. Got Atlantic City all the way down there. You can't drive there from here because the crow flies about eight, nine miles. Uh, dolphins were in the ocean. The bay is this way. And so the island here is only about a couple hundred yards wide between the ocean, the bay, and Hurricane Sandy. The ocean, the bay met together in that beautifully protected wetland, which is also a turtle crossing. So every day you see turtles going back and forth, going to the ocean, coming to the bay to lay their eggs. And Sandy, again, put a massive deposit of sand. So that ocean and that bay met over in that wetland, which I have. Can you see the sand over there, Matt? I can't yeah. Actually, yeah. So that, that sand is ocean sand that was not there forever before all this happened. So Matt, what did you feel when you got up here? Because you kind of understand, you started like chuckling and laughing. I, uh, I've never been to Long Beach Island, and uh, uh, you asked me where to stand, and there's no wrong place to stand uh, up here, because this place is absolutely beautiful. Excuse my French. But it is freaking amazing. Yeah, I think you jumped um, an even stronger F word before, which is cool. We'll yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I do feel blessed and privileged. I bought this house 20 years ago. And it was right after beginning to learn the ability to accelerate and co create outcomes in business in a completely different trajectory way. And it, it began, and I just was writing this this morning, it began at my grandparents' house, which you can see across there, Matt, and for everybody out there which is the White House with the black shutter straight across. Can you see that matter now? Yep. Right, and that's uh, 7 Webster Ave in LBI. And my grandmother loved garage sales, and I had started reading, uh, I had read Awaken the Giant Within, as I've often said in the videos, started studying the work of Jay Abraham, and the final piece that came together for me, which is really remarkable, was my grandparent, my grandmother, my grandparents, and my mom love garage sales. So they're like, hey, this is garage sale, and I can't stand garage sales. I'd be like, why are we leaving the island to go to garage sale? I'm like, no, 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 no. The, the garage sales in Manahawk that we usually would take you to as a kid, uh, there's one, there's an amazing one that's on the island. I'm like, thank God, all right, I'll go, you know, with my mom and make my grandmother happy, Nani. Love her, love making them happy, but it was like not my thing. So I go, I start like looking through all these different books that happen to be there. And one of them was called How to Make a Fortune from Public Speaking. And it all of a sudden just clicked in, like that's what Tony Robbins is actually doing. I'd never thought of him. I had thought of his words before. I'd never really studied and looked at his business. And then I'm like, and as Jay Abraham talks about strategic partnerships, which I now call ecosystem mergers, wait a minute, that's really galvanized by public speaking. I'm like, oh my God. And so it was down here in Long Beach Island where the final piece of that acceleration back in 1999 really came together, I'm sorry, it was 1998, leading into 1999, came together for me. And less than two years later, having debt and crazy dreams and hopes of, oh my God, like someday having a house down here. By the way, my grandparents had never made more than $14,000 in a year. They had sold their primary residence, bought that small beach cottage, which is my, part of my heart and my soul. And I'm like, wow, I, I just, you know, pricing is so different today. This is you know, the houses down here now are triple the amount that the house I grew up in is. Like, how would I ever be able to achieve this and afford it? And less than two years later, I had this house, which I've had for almost 20 years now. And, you know, a little bit after that, there's a house right there in the ocean, um, that, that white home, which is eight bedrooms, four over four, uh, that became my second beach home. So I had achieved a dream of mine, which was to have three different homes down here. This, 
And those two, because it's it's four bedrooms over four bedrooms with the, the ability to have separate entrances, for each of my three children and grandchildren, as I don't have any grandchildren now, my kids are still teenagers, but as would eventually happen, so I could further this incredible legacy that my grandparents had started, and it's become so much more than that. You know, we're, we're working down here today, Matt's down, a ton of folks on the team are down, and we're creating, and we're driving, and it's just, um, it's a really special time. So thanks, Matt, for being here. Thank you for, for listening, and one more thing, put a placeholder in, please, if you would, if you're interested in accelerating your business dramatically and creating more money and less time with more magic and fulfillment in your life, very specifically generated towards how that's done, not in concept, but very specifically, put a placeholder in for November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. November 1, 2, 3, the launch is coming. November 1, 2, 3, I wanna see you there, I wanna co-create together and launch this thing for real in service of you and becoming unblinded. Hey, I'm Sean Calgi. We're all just learning to see. Thanks.